Starting these things is really the worst thing ever. I've done this 18 times, so I'm just gonna get right into it. This is a holiday makeup tutorial on this look. I was a little bit rushed, so it's not as polished as I want it to be, but um, I had a lot of fun filming it at Etsy Studios a couple weeks ago, and I definitely wanted to share with you. I think is this is very wearable for everyone, so if you wanna know how to get this look, keep watching. Whenever I think of holidays, I think of gold and I think of red lipstick. So uh, that's kind of what I decided to come up with today. I really didn't have a plan going into this. I kind of just added everything or like winged it. I just went with it. There is definitely a sparkle in my eye that is causing it to uh, water a little bit, but that's okay. And I really am hoping that these make sense and that you enjoy watching them. Go team. Do I have lipstick on my teeth? All right, so to start off, I am going to spray myself with the Smashbox Primer Water. So I'm gonna come in with my Step One Radiance Primer. Looks like this. I just dab it all over and then rub it in with my hands. It's really soft and lotion-y, so it kind of just really rubs into the skin really easy. You don't need a brush or anything like that. And then today I'm gonna to be using the Cover FX Natural Finish Oil-Free Foundation. So I'm just gonna give the primer water a little spray on this Real Techniques, um, I'm not sure which brush this is, the Expert Face Brush. And I am just going to go in here, as you can see, yeah, it's a little, it's even a little light for me, but I really like the, the finish. So I'm gonna warm it up with some bronzer later. Buff it out. This is definitely a heavy foundation but actually less heavy than I thought it was gonna be based on what I read about it. If you want, you can throw in a little moisturizer or um, whatever, maybe a lighter foundation or something to go in with it because it will actually thin it out. I'm gonna take my Beauty Blender. The Beauty Blender is really amazing because it takes off excess pro uh, product. So anything that's kind of sitting on the skin that shouldn't be It'll really soak it up. The other thing about Cover FX, it's really good if you have sensitive skin. It's basically made with nothing. Um, pure pigments of the earth. Oh, I don't really know if that's true. I just know it's like no talc, um, no oil. Um, basically, it's just, it's really, really good for sensitive skin. You're not gonna, it's not gonna make you break out or anything if you have a problem with products. Um, I'm gonna let this sit on my face for a hot second. I'm gonna go in on the eyes. I'm just using my fingers to pat it on. I know you're supposed to use your ring finger, but I have more control with my middle finger. So this is gonna be all about the sparkles and the lashes. Um, it's not gonna be really smoky or anything like that, just a lot of gold. The star of the show today is going to be this MAC Warm Neutral Palette. These two golds right here are what I'm gonna be using. They're really bright. I want it to be a really bright gold look, not kind of really more, not on the bronze side. I want it to be pretty gold, a true gold color. So I'm gonna take this MAC 227 brush and take, I believe that this is Brulee and I'm gonna pat it all over both of my eyes just to kind of prep the color, or the eyes for um, colors that are gonna go on. All right, so I'm coming in with the MAC 224 brush. Um, this is just a blending brush. You, I have a Sonia Kashuk one that I really like. There's a lot of different ones that you can use. This is gonna be the warmest color that we use today. It's just a really warm, oh, saddle. I think this is saddle, that brown color. And I'm just coming in quickly into the crease and uh, to the upper crease, this is kind of on your brow bone. So I'm taking it pretty high. I don't have a lot of room between my brow and my uh, lid, so I'm just coming in and it's pretty close, but if you have more room, it might not be so high for you. I just like to keep my eye open, so I like to go above the crease and right on the brow bone. So I'm not being precise at all. As you can see, I'm just kind of going back and forth. You know, I could sit here and get ready for probably two hours if I wanted to, but you know, that's not just real, that's not really realistic, especially if you're going to a work party on during the week or um, something on a Friday when you're coming home from work and you wanted to have something that's really fun, but you don't want to spend two hours on it. I just want this to be realistic and fun and flashy. I'm using a lot of MAC brushes, but it's just because that's what I'm grabbing out of my bag. You can use anything. This is the the MAC 252. It's a really big uh, kind of flat brush. I like to wet it a couple times, and I'm going to kind of mix these two golds here. This is brighter. The top one is a little bit of a brighter yellow gold, but this has a lot of really pretty sparkle. So I wanna mostly concentrate on here, but pick up a little bit of that. Any gold will do, but again, just something brighter. And I am just gonna start to pat it right on the eye. I'm not gonna take it all the way out, but I am gonna cover most of the eye. Just pat it. 
I like this big brush because it covers a lot of ground. So again, not you don't have to go crazy with it. You want to just keep it bright. We're gonna put tons of glitter over it anyways. Again, I'm so sorry about this MAC fixation. Uh, this is a 227, I think. It's kind of like, see how you can see how precise and kind of pointy it is? Um, I wanna add a little bit of darkness, but nothing too crazy, just a little bit in the outer V, so I'm gonna use this. This color, I'm so sorry, I don't know what these are because I can't pop them out and look at them, but I'm gonna put them in the down bar, but they're from this, the Warm Neutral palette. And I'm just gonna get it right on the edge. Just kind of picking up a bunch of color. Tapping it, picking it up, tapping it. And I am gonna come in here, and I wanna just see that little color, that part that's not covered. I'm gonna just come in. I'm not, I don't, don't pull too much, it's just a habit of mine. Um, and you're just gonna start to lay it down. Right in this little kind of outer V. You can see where the color's starting to go. I'm gonna build this, but again, I don't want it to be too dark, so don't go ham. So really, you're just kind of adding a little bit of drama, but not you're not going smoky with it. Start to blend it towards in, but it, not too much. So this is where you can take whatever's left on your brush and kind of go into that actual crease, like the socket crease, and you can kind of just, it looks like you're gonna be sinking into your eye, essentially, but you're, I'm just gonna take it and ding that socket. You're almost not gonna be able to see this when you're opening it, but it adds a little bit of depth to your eye and defines the crease just a little bit more. So I'm gonna go back to that original blending brush. It's not clean, but it only has that one, that saddle color, that brown, and I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a blend. Blend it all together. If you wanna go darker on the outside, you totally can. Um, again, I just want this to be uh, mostly about the gold. And I'm gonna do a little baby wing, just a really, really, really thin line to define it. Maybe a little wing at the end, we'll see, who knows. I'm gonna keep it real with you. I mess up my liner on the daily. So this is probably usually the most frustrating part for me. This is the part where it really kills me. The glitter is gonna be coming from the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Eyeliner. It's super sparkly. This is Midnight Cowboy. I've had it for a long time now, but they have a bunch of different colors that I really, really like. It looks like a liquid eyeliner, so it's really easy to kind of place the glitter wherever you want. You'll, I'll show you where I'm gonna put it, but I'm just gonna strategically place it on the inside. I don't wanna drag too much because I don't wanna take off the eyeshadow. Taking it pretty far. Ooh, it's so sparkly. So I'm gonna leave it like that for now, and I'm gonna come back to this, add a little more of that darker color on the outside. Now that I have the glitter on, I'm just adding it a little bit, just adding a little more color to the edge. I am running low on time, so I need to do this quickly. This is like real life. I feel like if you're going to a party and you're like in a hurry, you need to get shit done. All right, so I am going to curl. We're gonna do a little bit of a, a light layer of mascara before going in with some lashes. So I just do a little bit of that. Um, I know we're only gonna be doing one layer of mascara, but I like, ooh, it looks crazy. Tarte's opening act, it's like white. This is the Tarte's Lights Camera Lashes. It came in my, in a holiday set that I got from Tarte. So I'm just using that, throwing it on. So we got one little light layer of mascara. I'm going to come in with Coco Lashes. So I'm gonna be using the House of Lashes glue. So these are really pretty, but they're kind of hard to put on because they're brand new. Coming in hot, really going for it right now because I am in a hurry, I'm running out of time. I'm gonna add a little brightener right here. This is the Maybelline Age Rewind. Just kind of putting it everywhere that I wanna brighten. Coming in with the Urban Decay 
uh, Naked Skin Concealer. This is definitely a little darker, which is why I like to kind of add a little bit um, over the brightener. Yeah, I'm using this um, Real Techniques Beauty Blender sponge thing. And I'm just kind of buffing it out. I haven't done anything under my eyes uh, for my look because I wanted to add my concealer first. Since I'm going kind of for that gold bronze, I'm taking this uh, Makeup Forever Sculpting Duo. This is in the, this is the number two, I believe. And I am not gonna overly contour. I'm just gonna kind of, well, probably overly bronze to be fair. This brush is wet. I'm not really sure why. <laughs> Let's go with it. I'm just bronzing around my temples, under my cheeks. This is a really fluffy brush, so it's not gonna give a ton of precision. Keeping it peachy, I'm going to use the Luminoso, the Milani Luminoso blush. It's like the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. And I'm just adding some, not really on the apples, I'm actually taking it a little bit farther back. And I'm gonna also go back to the highlighter from the Sculpting Palette, which is a beautiful, beautiful gold tone. And I'm actually gonna use my blender to kind of just dab it in. And I'm gonna come in here and just start to tap it on the top of my cheekbones. Bring it in a little far, cause I want that highlight on fleek. And I'm not gonna do much on the bottom lash. I'm actually just gonna use a little bit of that saddle to define it. And then I'm taking that gold, the brightest gold that we initially use, and just tapping it on the inside. So we have tons of glitter on our face, and why not finish it off with red lipstick. I'm gonna be using this Giorgio Armani lipstick in the number 400. I got it in um, my Sephora, uh, at Sephora order, I got it as like a sample. And it's really pretty, it's a uh, liquid lipstick, so it's a little bit matte. So, I'm taking my hair out. I actually just recently uh, tinted my brows, so I'm not gonna fill them in. I don't wanna go too crazy with it. I give myself a spritz with the Smashbox Primer Water to finish it, and I am done. Cool, thank you so much for watching. I am still really new at this, so I really don't know what I'm doing. It's really hard. I definitely got a little rushed and a little flustered there, but I hope you stayed with me to look at this look. Happy holidays, happy sparkles, and goodbye. It's really awkward. <laughs>